This evening, we have many exciting recognitions that we will be sharing through a reading due to folks' summer schedules and their inability to be here, unfortunately, but nonetheless, we are excited to celebrate them. And sharing tonight's recognitions is Executive Director of Communications, Ms. Madeline Noblet. Madeline, welcome. Hi, right, thank you, Superintendent Kingsley and directors of the board. Thanks for everyone being here this evening. As Superintendent Kingsley said, uh, as we traditionally do for this meeting of each school year with folks out for summer vacations and uh, just scheduling in general, uh, we tend to do this uh, recognition as a reading. And so I'm going to go through, I'll read, we have quite a few different staff and student recognitions. And so I'll read them and then ask um, for some applause in case we have folks watching from home or they can watch the recording later. And then that will conclude this evening's recognitions. So the first was one, it is the only one that we received this year and we felt it was important to highlight. And this recognition is for character. And uh, our Pooter High School girls tennis team received the Sportsmanship Award at the state tournament in May. And it was special because it was based on voting from the other teams and spectators. So that was a pretty neat deal. And um, we wanted to make sure that uh, the entire team was recognized um, for that accomplishment. We felt it was important to give them that time and space. So if we could give the Pooter High School girls tennis team a round of applause for their sportsmanship award, that would be great. All right, the next one, we get to uh, celebrate our colleague, Kale Wicker, for a second time. So some of you who come to our board meetings regularly and watch know that we recognized him for a state level um, award as the 2022 Colorado Assistant Elementary School Principal of the Year. Not only that, but he has been selected as one of the National Outstanding Assistant Principals of the Year by the National Association of Elementary School Principals, which is a pretty darn neat deal. So if we could give Mr. Kale Wicker a round of applause. Um, this one feels pretty incredible, they all do. Uh, we had 17 PSD Odyssey of the Mind teams qualify for world finals. World finals. That's not just state, national, world, um, which I know you all get, but uh, <laughs> that's how it works. Uh, but um, uh, we had them qualify for the world finals after competing in their state competitions. And nine of the teams went uh, to Iowa in May to actually compete in person at the world finals. So that's uh, pretty darn cool. And let's give all of those teams and their sponsors a round of applause. <clears throat> All right. One of the things we like to do is take a moment and recognize some of the pretty incredible scholarships and appointments from our graduating class, so from the class of 2022. Uh, so the first that we're recognizing this evening are our military academy appointments and our ROTC scholarships. Um, so I have a couple of students here. Um, I'll read through all and then we can applaud. So we have uh, Peyton Malaker from Fossil Ridge High School, uh, an Army ROTC scholarship going to Crichton University. We have Mr. Austin Holt from Fossil Ridge High School, Army ROTC scholarship for the University of Wyoming. Mason Smith from Liberty Common High School, uh, going to uh, West Point and the US Military Academy. We have Riley Durant from Rocky Mountain High School, uh, going to the U.S. Merchant Marines Academy, and Matthew Kinnerson, a Rocky Mountain High School grad who is going to the U.S. Air Force Academy. If we could please recognize them, that would be great. <laughs> All right, so some of our, um, some of the most prestigious scholarships uh, uh, are the next categories we'll go through. So the first is the Betcher Foundation Scholarship. Many of you are, are familiar, I'm sure. Uh, but sponsored by the Denver-based Betcher Foundation, this is a merit-based scholarship available to Colorado graduating seniors who provide service to the community and school, are the top students in their class, display leadership, and demonstrate character. Only 42 scholarships are offered across the state each year and four-year scholarships pay for a Colorado school of the recipient's choice, and that's tuition fees, book allowance, annual stipend for living expenses. 
Um, and this year we get to recognize um, Melia Henriksen from Fort Collins High School as a Betcher Scholar. Uh, the next one is the Daniels Fund Scholarship. These are seniors who have demonstrated strong character and a determination to succeed in life, and they receive funding to attend the college or university of their choice. Um, and uh, we have three. So Ezra Black from Liberty Common High School, another Liberty Common High School graduate, Skylar Mays, and then Kevin Bruxvert from Rocky Mountain High School were this year's Daniels Fund Scholars. So the next is a recognition for exceptional academic honor for the National Hispanic Scholars. And this is part of the College Board's National Hispanic Recognition Program. They recognize about 5,000 of the 250,000 Hispanic and Latino juniors who take College Board tests. And this year, our own Matthew Kinnerson from Rocky Mountain High School um, was recognized as a National Hispanic Scholar. All right, next are, are our National Merit Scholars. These uh, individuals score in the top 1% academically, and um, they may receive uh, three types of scholarships. It could be a one-time $2,500 award, a corporate-sponsored achievement scholarship, or a college-sponsored merit scholarship. And they earn this elite designation through a two-year testing and application process. And we have a number of students um, from our district. Uh, we have Christina Kim from Fort Collins High School, Lucas Demon from Fort Collins High School, Owen Dorlack from Liberty Common High School, Lenoir uh, Lowing from Liberty Common High School, Sydney Reinke from Liberty Common, Jeffrey Condal from Pooter High School, McKenna DeVore from Pooter, Lucy Gregory from Pooter, Holden Hall from Pooter, Solea Monser Gray from Pooter, Donovan Myrick from Pooter, Roxanne Wessel from Pooter High School, Natalie Bella Hobach from Ridgeview Classical Schools, Natalie Am Ryan from Rocky Mountain High School, and Maxwell Uphoff from Rocky Mountain as well. All right, and then certainly, um, last but not least, we have uh, some of our individual state champions for the spring athletics season. Uh, so we have, for track and field, um, we had quite an incredible uh, rundown for the um, students uh, who competed this year. So we have Brooke Naughton from Fort Collins High School, uh, was a champion in the long jump, triple jump, and high jump. We have, uh, I may get this wrong, Rise Travis in the triple jump from Pooter High School. Representing Fort Collins High School, Dante Johnson was a champion in the long jump. Kevin Booksvort, uh, who, if you noticed, was also in the academic uh, accolades from Rocky Mountain High School in the discus. Laura Davis from Fort Collins High School in shot put. And then boys swim and dive state champions included Jack Ballard of Fort Collins High School for his 500 freestyle and 200 freestyle, and Carter Ruthaven from Fort Collins or Fossil Ridge High School, excuse me, in the 100 butterfly. So if we could give all of our spring athletic champions a round. All right. And that concludes recognitions uh, for this school year. So we'll be back in the fall and look forward to honoring all of our staff and students once again. Thank you. Thank you, Madeline. Appreciate it.